tonight here at the Wolstein Center in Cleveland. The CSU Vikings will host the Green Bay Phoenix. Green Bay looking for their first road win of the season. Cleveland State is looking for their first Horizon League win under new head coach Dennis Felton. Who will take it to the house tonight, Green Bay or Cleveland State? The answer is coming up in just moments. The starting lineups, tip-off, and more straight ahead right here on Spectrum Sports. Center in downtown Cleveland once again. Good evening and welcome into our coverage of the Horizon League here on Spectrum Sports. Tonight, the Green Bay Phoenix take on the Cleveland State Vikings as CSU looks for their first win in the Horizon League this year. And Green Bay is looking for their first win away from home. Hi again, everybody, along with Pat Vianchik. I'm Al Pulowski. Great to have you here for our broadcast tonight on Spectrum Sports. Pat, when you take a look at these two teams, they're similar. Both like to fill it up from the outside. Well, especially Green Bay. They've been great in the past. This year they struggled. In their last game, they were really bad. So they're going to have to pick it up tonight. All right, let's talk about the Green Bay Phoenix. Three-point shooting. That, of course, is a big deal for them, as we talked a little bit about here. Against IUPUI, just one for 17 behind the arc. But in the previous two games, they shot very well. Well, from behind three point land. Well, anytime you play against a Link Darner coach team, they can usually fill it up. Cleveland State's hope is they don't get it going here tonight, but they are very capable. Let's talk about Sandy Cohen for Green Bay, the transfer from Marquette. Since he has played now for the Phoenix this year, he's done extremely well and really been their best player on offense. Oh, he's, a, he's the real deal. He's given them a big boost. They're a young team and they needed a guy with experience. He provides that for them. In many ways, Cleveland State lives and dies by the three pointer when they're filling it up from the outside. In fact, earlier this year, they set a team record 14 three-pointers in a game. They're winning. When they're missing those outside shots, they're not very close. Well, and they have to get it going because they don't have much size, Al. If they can't get it going from the perimeter, then they can't get to the basket either. So very important for Cleveland State as well to shoot those long ones and make them count. And speaking of three-point shooters, Bobby Word is a big key for Cleveland State. He's had two big games, even though they've both been losses for CSU. A career-high 26 against Michigan State. 24 against Youngstown State on Monday in a loss, but he's also hit 13 threes in his last two games. Well, the thing that's maybe even most impressive about Ward lately is the leadership he's showing and the confidence. He really is the key for Cleveland State because he stretches the defenses out and that allows them to penetrate and score. We'll see what happens tonight. Cleveland State and Green Bay straight ahead here on Spectrum Sports. at the Wolstein Center. Cleveland State and Green Bay getting set to go at it in a Horizon League matchup here tonight for Green Bay. This is their fourth Horizon League game for Cleveland State. It's only their second. Green Bay also playing their fourth game here in a week's time. Well, the weather is frigid outside. We we'll have to see which team can heat it up inside tonight. There's your starting lineup for the Green Bay Phoenix. Khalil Small is just 11 points away from 1,000 for his career. That's a heck of a guard combination, Small and Cohen. Those guys can really fill it up. Link Darner, a head coach at Green Bay that's done a phenomenal job. Pat, you used to coach against him. That's correct. He was at Ashland University when I was coaching at Lake Erie College. He's come a long way, Al. He sure has. Cleveland State's starting lineups for you. Jamarcus Harrison gets the call instead of Steph Kennett, who had been starting at forward. He'll come off the bench tonight. A little bit more experience, and, uh, you know, that helps the Vikings, and, and Jamarcus has been playing well. He's earned it. There's Dennis Felton in his first season as head coach of Cleveland State, previously in Western Kentucky and Georgia. Brings an exciting brand of basketball. Also spent time with the San Antonio Spurs. And we are just about set for basketball here tonight at the Wolstein Center. Thanks for joining us here in downtown Cleveland, Green Bay and Cleveland State. Sandy Cohen against Jamarcus Hairston as Lewis Garrison. Has the ball in the center circle, and we are set to go here tonight in this Horizon League matchup on Spectrum Sports. The Vikings win the tap, and they're home whites tonight against Green Bay, and they're traveling blacks with the green trim. This is Tyree Appleby for Bobby Word. The quick trigger is long, and a good rebound there by Sandy Cohen. Very athletic as you see him push the ball up the floor for Green Bay. They're small. Now pipes. Small for three from the corner. That's short, and Kenny Carpenter, the Vikings leading rebounder, pulls it in. Both teams looking to pull the trigger early from deep. Carpenter on the drive and kick to Hairston. 
Word to Hairston. Mix up down low and a steal by Hankerson. Through the arms of Cohen, Cleveland State will counter three on three. Here's Word. Back come the Phoenix. Boy, he takes the lids off the hoops here in the first <laughs> minute. Yeah, they were they were really working it over the layup line. They sure getting it going early, Al. Just a little small. Always seems to have a good game against Cleveland State, especially here at the Wolstein Center. Now Hankerson will try the three-pointer. Right there, bottom of the cup for Cam Hankerson. He came in averaging nine points. He has the first field goal tonight. Well, we said that's what that's what they need to do. Green Bay, when they can score from the three land, they can beat a lot of teams. Tyree Appleby going to work on pipes. Just the little jumper right the offensive board. And he was stripped. Green Bay on a run out. Hankerson leading it three on three. Three pointer from the left wing is at the back iron for Hankerson. Here's Hairston to Carpenter. Cleveland State likes to run when they have the opportunity, but the Phoenix good at getting back on D. Well, that's the third ball the Phoenix have reached in and pulled loose from the Vikings. Really scrappy defenders. There's Appleby with 10 on the shot clock. Word on the drive. Forced it up, couldn't get it to go, and another rebound for Hankerson. His third already for the Phoenix. They lead it 3-0. Here's Pipes on the pull-up. Too long, and Bobby Word brings it in for CSU. Green Bay 1 of 3 from the field in the early going. Cleveland State 0 for 4. Phoenix really played good defense in the half court. Very well coached. Hairston in the low post. Right on the drive. Out of bounds. It'll belong to Cleveland State with nine on the shot clock. Here comes Cash Thomas. He's been playing well off the bench for Cleveland State recently. He'll take Bobby Ward's spot, who sits down scoreless. Well, the other night when the Vikings went to this lineup with the two point guards on the floor, they created a lot of offense. We'll see what happens upon this change. Here's Hairston. Appleby with five to shoot. The pull up from 15 is in and out. Green Bay once again running with small. Pull up three in rhythm. Couldn't get that to go. Appleby the rebound for Cleveland State. A lot of shots going up, Al. Not too many going down right now. Here's Thomas. Now right. Appleby against Pipes. A couple of freshmen going at it. Out of bounds off Appleby. Pipes is the reigning Horizon League freshman of the week. P.J. Pipes, a 6'2 freshman from Woodridge, Illinois. And for Cleveland State, Tyree Appleby, the 6'1 freshman from Jacksonville, Arkansas. Pat, a couple of guys to watch for as this season progresses. And here's your keys to tonight's game. Well, you know, the Phoenix are seeking their first win on the road. Always difficult to win in Division I anywhere on the road. And they have to be able to get back to hitting their threes. Cleveland State. We'll get back to that in a minute. There's Hankerson. He has the only bucket so far today. That was a two-pointer. Originally, thought it was a three. Sandy Cohen, good little pull-up jumper there. The transfer from Marquette has his first two, and it's 4-0 Phoenix. Smooth one dribble pull-up there. Here's Carpenter. Working on small. Now Appleby against Pipes. Steph Kenich who just came in. Stripped by Cohen. One on one with Thomas. Cohen with that Euro step. Scores it off the window. That's the fifth ball the Phoenix have popped loose against the Vikings. Vikings are going to have to take better care of the ball if they expect to, to be in this game. Cohen with four. Green Bay with a 6 0 lead. Scrappy, quick hands. Appleby on the drive, couldn't get the bucket, but he got the foul. And he'll head to the free throw line. That's the first foul today against either side. The foul is on P.J. Pipes. His first, team's first, and we'll take a break here at the Wolstein Center at the 15-33 mark. All Phoenix in the early going. Bay off to a good defensive presence here. 
in Cleveland. They're up 6-0. Some good steals. Sandy Cohen, a pretty one here. Well, the upperclassman picks the pocket of the underclassman, and it's Layup City. Link Darner's teams are always on the positive side of steals in every game, and there's an example why. They have popped loose five balls so far where the Vikings thought they had scoring opportunities. The Phoenix have popped them loose and turned them into turnovers. Green Bay came into tonight averaging eight steals per game. They already have three. Sandy Cohen, the man on your screen right there, leading the team with two. And Tyree Appleby at the free throw line for Cleveland State, looking for the Vikings' first points tonight. Tyree on the year shooting 62% from the charity strike. So far watching uh, Sandy Cohen, I would say that uh, people in Green Bay are going to be smiling for a couple years watching this guy play. No question. Appleby gets Cleveland State's first point tonight on the floor now. Dontel Highsmith has also joined Appleby, as well as Claiborne. Evan Claiborne getting the action tonight. He's been out for a month with a knee issue. So it's Thomas Highsmith, Appleby, Kenich, and Claiborne as Appleby sinks the second one. For Green Bay, it's Cohen, Small, Patterson who's in there, Hankerson, and Christ who has checked in too. Here's Cohen with the kick out to Small. A little floater in the lane is good. And Small gets his first two tonight. He's now nine points away from 1,000. And again, that was Cohen creating all that because of the, the penetration and kick out right there. 8-2 in favor of the Phoenix. Cleveland State still without a field goal tonight. As Thomas tried to find Highsmith in the low post, the kick ball will give it to Cleveland State near the hash mark. Another, Actually, they'll put it on the baseline. Yeah, another deflected ball. You know, coaches, when they take stats, they look for deflections, and, and that's one of the most important stats that coaches keep when they're uh, evaluating their team from game to game. Thomas having trouble finding a teammate. Now he finds Appleby near midfloor. A work on Christ. Highsmith for the triple. Too hard on that shot. Small the rebound for Green Bay. The Phoenix come ahead, leaders 8-2. to two. Small with a nice find of Cohen, right back to Small, and an open look in the corner for Hankerson. Appleby, the Cleveland State rebound. Here's Thomas. Tried the reverse, and a great block by Hankerson. He's always played well defensively, and he's off to a very good start defensively tonight. Seven deflections when you count that block as one. Christ. Went down low here. Patterson off the window. And off the bench, Patterson with his first two. Green Bay, a 10-2 lead here tonight. Over five minutes in, and Appleby in trouble in the backcourt, and he's out of bounds. Good pressure by Christ, and Ken Kenich couldn't get it into him. Jamarcus Harrison returns for Cleveland State. Now is Appleby going to be okay? He was over here. Looks like well, he'll be two, fine. Two freshmen finding themselves in a situation. When Tyree didn't get the ball, he should have posted up and come back to the basketball instead of just standing still. And Steph Kenich had a difficult time reading what Tyree really wanted him to do. And threw it to a bad spot. Sukjuk Baines is in for Green Bay. So it's Baines, Patterson, Chris, Small, and Cohen for the Phoenix. Cleveland State with Thomas Highsmith, Carpenter, Claiborne, and Hairston. Along with Pat Vianchik, I'm Al Pulowski. John Staley directing tonight from Cleveland. Green Bay with a 10-2 lead. Sandy Cohen with the basketball. Here's Small. And a stutter step there. Traveling called on Small. And for Green Bay tonight, that is just their second turnover. Cleveland State's already committed five turnovers. Yeah, give, give the Phoenix defense credit. Cleveland State has to get stronger with the basketball. This is an important possession. They have to score from the field. They have not yet scored from the field. Only points from the free throw line for the Vikings tonight. So far, the Phoenix man-to-man -man defense has been very strong. Here's Highsmith. To the basket, and he couldn't get Cleveland State's first field goal. Missed the layup. Tough shot, but the Vikings now 0 for 7 from the field. They're small. Got to the window. Claiborne with the block from behind, and then there's a foul on the rebound as Patterson pulled it in, and he was grabbed by Dontel Highsmith. First foul against Cleveland State, and that'll send Manny Patterson to the free throw line. Manny shooting 74% from the line this year. Defense on the other end leads to great offense on the offensive end. The Phoenix walled up on the other end to force a tough shot, came down the lane and pushed the ball at the defense, and uh, Cleveland State did not get back as well. Manny Patterson, a nice looking freshman, six foot eight from Chicago, drains the first of two. It's an 11 to two game now. Green Bay in front of Cleveland State here tonight. There's Link Darner, 48 and 36 in three years at Green Bay. And a Division II national championship and is under his belt at Florida Southern. The guy can coach flat out. 
Patterson splits the pair. Hairston the rebound for Cleveland State. Still in search of their first field goal tonight, the Vikings are. This is Thomas. Now a little Claiborne, there you go. Kabam. First two, and Evan Claiborne, who have been out for a month with a knee injury with an exclamation point. No doubt about that one, Al. 11 to 4 the score. Sandy Cohen on Claiborne with the crossover. Just missed that little shot off the window. High Smith of Ivy Board. Vikings making a concerted effort to go inside right now. I was trying to find Hairston. It was a kickball. And we got a foul as well. It's going to be on Hunter Christ. Well, whatever the, Vikings, uh, whatever the Vikings ran on that last possession, uh, I'm certain that the staff is considering trying to run that same thing because Evan Claiborne pops so wide open. And they certainly have a size advantage right now. So see if they continue to go back to that. Our officiating crew here tonight, experienced group, Lewis Garrison, Ron Tyberski, Edwin Young. Cash Thomas will inbound to Jamarcus Hairston. Green Bay by seven here. Here's Carpenter, Cleveland State's leading scorer this year at 13 a night. Also their leading rebounder at six per game. Another deflection. Seven on the shot clock. Now Thomas going to have to pull the trigger. Hairston at the buzzer is wide left, and that's a shot clock violation. Boy, Green Bay's defense here in the first half, Pat, has been outstanding. They just get down on their stance, and they just grind away. They're very physical on the ball. They give early help on penetration, and they have quick hands, and they know how to pop the ball loose without fouling. Very difficult to score against all those combinations. There's Cohen against Hairston for small. Quick look down low. Deflected ball found Patterson. Claiborne blocked it. Patterson again. Claiborne blocked it again. <laughs> oh, there's <Thanks>, nice fella. <laughs> Now, Cleveland State wasn't sure if Claiborne would play today. He went out warm-ups, obviously felt good, so he's out there. Here's Thomas on the drive. Put it on the rim, and it fell in. Cash with his first two off the bench. It's 11 to 6. The Green crier. To run. <laughs> As Al McGuire used to say, the crier. <laughs> Town crier, indeed. Here's Cohen. Baines. Stripped in the lane, loose ball, and Thomas collects for Cleveland State. Up to Carpenter. Crossover move, getting got to the rack, and he scored it with the offhand, 11 to 8. And Cleveland State's run off six straight after they were down early, 11 to 2. Vikings come into life. See how much longer Coach Darner stays with this lineup. There's Cohn. Christ. And he dragged the pivot foot. That'll be traveling on Green Bay. A turnover, and it'll be Cleveland State ball when we return. We'll take this break. 11-8 the score. Green Bay in the lead. Evan Claiborne, though, with a slam dunk to get Cleveland State's first field goal tonight. Back here in Cleveland, the Phoenix lead the Vikings 11-8, along with Pat Vianchik. I'm Al Pulowski. Well, Cleveland State has a new head coach this year. It's Dennis Felton taking over for Gary Waters after a strong tenure for Coach Waters. Here's another strong veteran coming in in Dennis Felton. Well, Dennis Felton brings a lot of experience and success. He knows how to build programs, done it at both places. And he spent a lot of time, as we mentioned, with the San Antonio Spurs under the tutelage of Greg Popovich. So there's no doubt about it. He and his staff are going to build a, a successful program here. Give him some time, and it's going to get done. Well, Cleveland State was very pleased to get a guy like a Dennis Felton with his experience in here to take over this year. There he is, and working hard on the recruiting trail. Tyree Appleby, one of his first recruits. We talked about him and P.J. Pipes for Green Bay. And that's going to be a fun matchup to watch over the years. Well, I, I said it before. Tyree Appleby will be one of the best guards in Cleveland State history when he leaves out of here. Uh, Pipes certainly has shown. Now, here's, here's a feature from Coach Darner that that he is very well known for. He'll bring a lot of extended pressure uh, just to make the change of tempo up a little bit. Good coaching strategy. Thomas Wright, Highsmith, Word, and Hairston for Cleveland State. The Phoenix with Pipes and Small. Baines, Hankerson, and Jesperson back in. Highsmith out top. Three-point lead for the Phoenix. Highsmith against Hankerson here. Highsmith. An air ball from about 20. Great save by Wright, but a short shot clock. Thomas will lift it. Couldn't get the three for the tie. Good box out by Baines, and he finds Pipes. Green Bay on the run. Small. 
in rhythm right there. Khalil Small with the triple from straight away. He's got five, and Green Bay ends the six-point Cleveland State run. The Phoenix were scoreless for almost three minutes. They're back on top by six here at 14 to eight. Yeah, when Cleveland State made that run, Coach Darner smartly subbed his guys back in that he knew could get it done. Here's Highsmith against Baines. Hairston. They've got a whistle. We have a foul hold there as Hairston went to make a move. And Green Bay picks up their third team foul. Well, Jamarcus tried to make a penetrating drive there, got held. Uh, the, the Vikings will have to put the ball on the floor strong and pick it up strong if they hope to score in the paint against the Phoenix. Last Green Bay foul was on David Jesperson as first as Kenny Carpenter returns for Dontel Highsmith. Hairston checks out. Steph Kenich in to replace him. Steph Kenich didn't start tonight for the first time in 14 games. He started every one. The freshman from Belgrade, Serbia. Well, they haven't lost confidence. A great pass from him there. Carpenter. Couldn't finish though. Wow. Good defense by Jesperson to help out. Now Hankerson. Kicked it off his knee. Right coming the other way. Knocked away from behind. Loose ball. Thomas trying to save it. Did. But Ankerson's got it. Coming the other way for Green Bay. Up to Small. To the rack with the left hand. He lays it in. Khalil Small with seven. And now he is four points away from a thousand for his career as the Phoenix build the lead and double up Cleveland State. 16 to 8 now. Well, Anthony Wright that time. Good steal by the Vikings. Didn't have the presence to know he was surrounded. Have to know where those defenders are. Cash Thomas the drive, couldn't kick it out, lost it out of bounds. I'll say a last one off of P.J. Pipes, however. And Cleveland State will maintain possession with 11 on the shot clock. As Tyree Appleby returns for the Vikings, and Cash Thomas will check out with two points. The Phoenix are so physical on the ball, even if you think you have that drive going past them, by the time you go to pull up and shoot, they're going to wall their, they're going to stick their chest into you without fouling. Very difficult to do. Here's Word with six on the shot clock. 15-footer, tough shot, and he drained it. Bobby's first two tonight. He's averaged 25 in his last two. And it's a six-point lead for the Phoenix. Here's Small with the lean in, and he scores. Khalil Small starting to feel it now as he has nine, and he is just two points away from that century mark for his career. He's feeling confident. There's word grabbed by Small. The foul on Khalil Small will be his first, fourth against Green Bay here in this first half. 9.07 to go before halftime. 18 to 10 here, Green Bay over Cleveland State in this 76th meeting between these two schools. Green Bay leads the all time series 46 to 29. And here in Cleveland, Vikings lead it by one, 18 17. Carpenter. Finds right for the baseline jumper, and he hits the bottom of the cup. First two for right, 18-12. The Vikings' offensive efficiency really picking up in the last seven or eight possessions. There's Pipes. Against Appleby, now Hankerson for three. Put it on the rim, couldn't get it. Anthony Wright, the Cleveland State board. Wright had it taken himself, and a great block by Hankerson. There's Baines. Pipes for Jesperson. Wright knocked it away. Loose ball out of bounds here. And it'll belong to Green Bay at the 826 mark here of the first half. Cleveland State down by six. What? Vikings have been down the whole way here in this first half. Here's a look at Wright on the drive and a great block. Pack. And that's just great help defense. And that's what uh, great teams do. They Even if a teammate gets beat, somebody rotates over to help. And to be able to block that shot and that's you know in that situation is, is huge because now you're running out to the other end to score and that's uh, again it's, it's one of the qualities that seems to be surfacing very often for the Phoenix early in this game. Hairston back in for the Vikings right checks out. Here's Small the game's leading score right now with nine to the basket. Gonna get the bucket Bobby Word the Viking board. Word with the pick and an open look. Right there. Bobby Word's been burying the triples of late. He hits that one. They put 18-14 on the board, but the official said 15. We haven't read in our scorebook. You know, small. Bobby Word went up to Michigan State and had the, the game of his life, seven made threes. 
You're going to get a lot of confidence when you can score like that against the number one team in the country. And he's showing it consistently. Hankerson with a good take. He'll go to the free throw line as he was fouled by Jamarcus Hairston right by the basket. That'll be the first personal foul on Jamarcus Hairston. Team foul number three against CSU. Well, Bobby Worry, when he gets it going, he can fill it up. He hit the three here. Cleveland State trails the Phoenix by three on Spectrum Sports. Back here at the Wallstein Center in Cleveland, along with Pat Fianchik, I'm Al Pulowski. 18-15 is the score. The Phoenix lead the Vikings here at the 745 mark of the first half, but Vikings got it going to get back in it. They were down by nine. It's now only a three-point game thanks to some offense and some jump shots. Some penetration and some mid-range game, and then Bobby Word brings the three ball, which is, we said in the pregame, the key for the Vikings. If he can hit threes, it stretches the defense and creates driving opportunities for his teammates. Bobby Word with 24 against Youngstown State on Monday. You see his numbers in the last two. Two games ago against Michigan State, a career-high 26 points and a career-high seven three-pointers. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure Bobby's in his mind and in other people's mind, he's out to prove that that 26 up at Michigan State was no fluke. It's Cam Hankerson with the shooter's touch on the first free throw. Green Bay, a very good free throw shooting team this year. 76% from the line as a team. Hankerson personally is at 82%. And that free throw gives him three points for the evening. See his numbers. He sinks the second one, and it's a 20-15 to 15 game. Green Bay up by five. Green Bay has never trailed today. They've led it for over 11 minutes. It's tied for a minute 12 when it was scoreless. All Green Bay since then. This is Appleby against Pipes. Vikings having trouble getting anything run here. Appleby will pull the trigger on the J. It's no good. Sandy Cohen, who's back in there, has the rebound for the Phoenix. Phoenix took away everything the Vikings wanted to do in that last possession. How about Jesperson stroking it from deep? The transfer from Pepperdine, the redshirt senior, with his first field goal. And Green Bay up by eight once again, 23-15. Back to his Carpenter to the glass. He scores it. What a pass by the freshman to the senior. Four for Carpenter. And the pivot foot dragged just a little bit for Hankerson. A turnover for Green Bay. That is their sixth turnover today. Cleveland State also with six. Let's look at it again here. A la John Stockton to Carl Malone, the one-hander. Only the good ones can make that pass and not turn it over. Tyree Appleby is shaping up to be one of the best. There's Bobby Word. It's the Hairston pick. A little small stayed right with him. Here's Appleby on the drive. Boy, he got to the rack somehow, and he scored it off the window. Freshmen just don't make that move, out. What a terrific heads-up play to read the gap and drive it and use the backboard. He's got four. Look at Cohen get into the lane. His kick out, though, is knocked away by Carpenter. Vikings trying to run. Four on three. Word, the catch and shoot. Kenich got the foul. Will go to the line and shoot two. It's been a game of runs a little bit. Green Bay started hot. Cleveland State came back. Green Bay, Green Bay pushed it back out to an eight-point lead. Now it's down to four, and Kenich at the line to shoot two, where he's shooting 73% this year. The big serve going in there, doing the dirty work, powering it up through traffic. That's how you get yourself going. He struggled the last few games, Al. They took him out of the starting lineup tonight. That's how you get yourself going. Get, go get yourself an easy one off the backboard. And it drains the first free throw for his first point as Highsmith returns for Cleveland State. He'll replace Bobby Word, who sits down with five. So many young players have a tendency to, oh, I got to get my, my, I'm not making my three. I got to get my three ball going. No, go get yourself an easy one off the fast break or off a rebound miss. That's how you get yourself into the game and get some confidence. Hits them both. So it's a two-point game once again. Take a look at the rebounding difference. It's even. Tremendous rotation by the Vikings there. Here's Appleby. For Carpenter for the tie. We're even at 23. Timeout Link Darner in Green Bay at the 559 mark. It's a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here. Not at a 23. Cleveland State and Green Bay here tonight in this Horizon League matchup, Pat. And Green Bay off to a great start. Excellent on defense, but the Vikings now on an 8 nothing run in the last minute plus. Look at the help rotation. Kenich, then Word and Hairston are there. Then it's off to the races. Great defense creates great offense. One dribble pull up by the senior. 
the leading scorer of the Vikings. That's what the Vikings have been lacking. And look at that, teammates giving each other some dap. That's the, those are the growing, that's, a, that's the growth you see in a team. When you see them hooking each other up and you see them rotating defensively and making those plays, that's the growth you look for as a coach. Carpenter with a half dozen to Lee Cleveland State. Green Bay's leading scorer is small as we take a look at Kenny Carpenter's numbers on the season. He's their leading scorer. He's also their leader in rebounds. And he's second to Appleby in assists. So he's contributing in all three categories. And the senior is really taken to Dennis Felton's offense here with the movement and the run. It's the type of style he likes to play. Absolutely. He's, he's suited to do it. Look at Tyree Appleby out there hawking the ball. Mike Smalls, small. Down the lane he goes. The scoop shot and one coming. How about Khalil Small? That's a thousand in his career. He's got 11 tonight. He'll look for 12 at the line. And what a great drive here by the senior. Well, he felt the defender trailing him. He used that to his advantage to curl up the lane and create that driving opportunity. But look at the body control. And you know what, young people out there, if you're watching, use the backboard every time you're in traffic. You can take those hits and make that finish. And the three-point play, the traditional three-point play that you see right here, this is the way you score. It's the best way to score. Still the best play in basketball. Well, a great career so far that's obviously still continuing for Khalil Small in Green Bay. But 1,000 career points to so look for 101 here. He has a game-high 11. That last foul, by the way, on Jamarcus Hairston was his second third against the Vikings here in the first half. Small's free throw is up, but it's right there. Khalil Small does everything well, including shooting free throws, 82% on the year. He scored in double figures 50 times in his career. Not easy to do at the Division I level at all. He'll make it 51 after today, and Jesperson a steal, and now Kenich went for the ball, as did Jesperson, and there's a trip on Jesperson going for the ball. A good recovery by the freshman Kenich there. He Made a soft pass, he got picked off, but he stayed with the play. Look, he reacted right away, and he got himself back into the play and was able to pick up that foul call. That's a good sign for a freshman who has been struggling lately. Jesperson out with his second personal foul. He'll be replaced in the Green Bay lineup by Manny Patterson. Also back is Hunter Christ for Green Bay. Evan Claiborne will take Hairston's spot for Cleveland State. He sits down scoreless with a couple of boards. Let's see if the Vikings try to go back inside. See if they can get that power dunk action going. Whatever they did, something they should try to run again. Phoenix up by three. They've never trailed. Appleby gets the switch to Cole. Drive in the lane, the jump stop. The find is Kenich for three, right there. So we're tied again. Kenich with five off the bench. Freshman to freshman right there, Al. They're small. Veteran with a hot hand gives it up to Baines. Christ wanted to pull that trigger on the three, but couldn't get it off. Cohen now. The hook pass finds Baines. The little fade for three from the corner. Sukjak Baines gets his first field goal. Green Bay back up by three. That's how you answer. <laughs> you come back right at the other end and give it right back to him. 29-26 now is Cash Thomas. The elbow jumper. Get it, Baines the rebound. Wrist. The deflected ball for Baines in the corner against Claiborne. Here's Small. Baines tried to pass it stripped, but it came right to Patterson. Nine to shoot. Small with the pick. Right there on the pick and roll to Patterson. And couldn't connect. Here's Thomas the other way. Appleby in the lane. Leaned in through the foul on Chris. Uh, this kid does not play like a freshman, you know? He catches it in the corner. Smart move to drive in. Gets himself under control. Looks around. Boom. Finds a little gap to squeeze through and draws the foul. Yeah, that's well, a they, veteran play. And they called it on Chris. It looked like Cohen was the one that got him in the arm. He just uh, or the foul is on Cohen. I beg yeah, your pardon. This okay. kid, this, this kid, second team yeah. seven. Go ahead. No, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, this this kid just finds a way to get to the basket. This this may be his Achilles heel. He's gonna have to work on his free throws. He's not shooting it well from the line, but he's really crafty at knowing how to get in the lane and and either score himself or dump off to other people. He does both. Kenneth out with five. Word back in. One more free throw for Appleby. 
looking for his fifth point tonight. He nails it with the second free throw. He's three of four at the strike. Two-point game. It's been entertaining so far tonight here at the Wolstein Center with four minutes to play before halftime. Green Bay by two. This is Baines on word. Cohen. Cohen's been quiet sincerely going. Patterson, the little hook. No good, but look at Small working hard under the glass. He scores it off the window. A baker's dozen for Khalil Small. He has 13. He's three away from his season's average. And this is why he has over 1,000 points now, because he knows how to score in more than one way. He's not a shooter. He's not just a driver. He'll get points any kind of way. The Cleveland State's ball after Small knocked it out of bounds. When we return... Tonight at the Wolstein Center, Green Bay hasn't trailed in the first half. They lead it by four at the moment, 31-27. We're back after this. Back here in Cleveland, the Green Bay Phoenix lead the Cleveland State Vikings 31-27. Along with Pat Vianchik, I'm Al Pulowski, John Staley producing, Tom Boschenek also working on the crew tonight. And Link Darner, the head coach for Green Bay in his third year. Boy, he's done a great job this year, Pat, recruiting. He's got a lot of young players, a lot of exciting young players. You see his numbers. Anderson, Indiana native, played at Purdue. Heck of a player there. Uh, Big Ten, all, all Big Ten player. And has gone on to be a great coach, uh, you know, at the Division II level. And now at, at, at uh, Green Bay, he uh, knows how to win. We've got a whistle off the ball. And a foul on Green Bay. This will be the eighth foul against Green Bay in the first half. Ron Tyberski, the call. Link Darner with some words for him. The foul was on Hank Hunter Christ, his second. So a one and one here for Tyree Appleby. Stay tuned at halftime. J.P. Kadoran has a story on some of the, the senior leadership here for Green Bay that you won't want to miss. Sandy Cohn. He's a junior, of course, a little small, the senior, but they're your upperclassmen. As Tyree Appleby nails the first of the one and one, he'll get the bonus. 31 28 now. And Appleby tonight with six, looking for seven. As you get a look at Dennis Felton looking on for Cleveland State. Well, looking on to see a freshman point guard who they are just ecstatic about. Cleveland fans are going to grow to love. This is Khalil Small. Ankerson. Now Baines. Small against Thomas. Chris. Got the three-pointers. Appleby was closing out on him. How about Hunter Chris, the freshman from Crown Point, Indiana, knocking it down. Green Bay up by five. I was just going to comment Cleveland State was doing a very good job of making them work late into the shot clock. Carpenter on the jump shot. He's starting to feel it now. Getting his... Now four or five from the field. He missed his first shot. He's made four in a row. He's got eight to lead the Vikings. Three-point lead for Green Bay. Small, a little fade away from 18. How about Khalil Small tonight? He is scoring every kind of way you can score the basketball tonight, Al. He's got 16. <laughs> He's 7 of 11 from the field. He's also got four boards and two assists on the way to a special night tonight. And he's doing, he's like an old school player. He gets to the basket, he hits mid range, turn around. There he comes again on the dribble. Five point lead for the Phoenix. Christ. No small. Ankerson. Patterson. And he's dragged the pivot foot for the travel. We talked about some of those young players. Manny Patterson's another 6'8 freshman from Chicago. He's going to be very good in the Horizon League as time goes on. We already told you about P.J. Pipes, but Hunter Christ is a freshman. We haven't seen Will Chevalier yet tonight, but he's another freshman that's getting some key minutes. He's played in 14 of the Green Bay Phoenix. Now 17 games so far this year. Well, when you have upperclassmen like Small, it helps the, the younger guys learn. They don't feel like they have to force their game as much. How about Carpenter with a strong drive? He's got 10. It's a three-point game. For right game, now, it's small yeah. against Carpenter. For, for a game that started out with some cold shooting on both sides, both teams are picking it up, and they're How small again. A little small. Going with the left hand, and once he got to the rim, 18 tonight for small, already above his season's average of 16. 
Well, the Vikings have already tried a number of guys on him so far, but he is. And How about Kenny Carpenter? Carpenter? He's got an answer. <laughs> These guys are. <laughs> 18 for Small, 12 for Carpenter. Foul there on Carpenter. Dennis Feldman is in disagreement. Kenny will pick up the foul, his first, team's fourth. Well, you know, the, the defender's allowed to go straight up, and Kenny did not. He was leaning over, and it's a good call. You're allowed to go straight up, but he definitely got him. That was a good call. That'll send Cam Hankerson to the free throw line to shoot two. Hankerson tonight, four points, two of two from the strike. Dennis Felton and... Edwin Young discussing restaurants in the Cleveland area. <laughs> you know, this is the frustration that happens when, you know, your team, you know, Cleveland State's been in a lot of close games and lost. Uh, you know, you want to win games at home, and, and uh, Coach Felton's going to argue his point, but, uh, you know, that's the fiery nature of, of being a Division I head coach. You, you want to compete on every possession, so it'll balance out. It always does. Ankerson failed on the first free throw. Now for the second. All net on that one. Four-point lead for the Phoenix once again. A minute to go before halftime. Green Bay is not trailed tonight. Thomas against Hankerson here. Stink tight advantage for the Phoenix. Thomas going to drive anyway. Got contact in the lane. And he'll go to the line and shoot two. Ninth foul against Green Bay. And this one is on Cam Hankerson. And Coach Tarr gave a look. He didn't like that call either. <laughs> Smartly. <laughs> he knew he couldn't give it to him because Dennis Felton gave him all the all the uh, jazz he needed in the previous possession. So he, he wisely bit his tongue. <laughs> Two shots for Cam Cash Thomas who misses the first one. That's one of the toughest things for a coach to do is lay off the officials. Yeah. Officials are always trying to get it right. They get evaluated well, on every former position. college coach. Well, yeah, you got I, into a few years. I sure did. Probably too many. <laughs> Probably why I'm sitting here next to you, Al. That's all right. It's not a bad view. <laughs> Thomas splits the pair. It's his first free throw made tonight. Thomas with three points. Green Bay with a three point lead. Chris going to get that three pointer. A whistle and a foul on the rebound. And it's on Cleveland State. This Baines is an active player. He's the one that picked up the foul here. You know, he really does a good job. Uh, kind of a slender body, but he finds a way to get rebounds. Carpenter with his second foul. He'll check out here with 12 points. Anthony Wright replaces him. It's only the fifth against Cleveland State. So Small will inbound. It's one of the big differences if you haven't watched Cleveland State basketball this year. Dennis Felton actually coaches and practices. There's a five-second call on Small. He coaches not to foul. Where Gary Waters coached a more aggressive, hard-nosed approach. It's really the opposite for head coach Dennis Felton with how he coaches not to foul. It's 30 second timeout here. We'll keep it here for Cleveland State. They had to use it or lose it. Green Bay is up by three points here today, but completely different styles than what we've seen over the last 11 or 12 years. Yeah, Gary, well, Gary Waters is a defensive minded coach, first of all, and one of the great coaches ever in Division One basketball. I mean, he came out of here with a with a positive one loss record and did some amazing things. Now, the, the philosophy is not that much different. How about for Green Bay tonight? A little small pat. 18 points to lead all yeah, scores. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, look at him go. I mean, he d he does it going to the hole. He does it, you know, pulling up, getting rebounds at 6-2, getting in the paint, getting dirty, you know, a little step back. He does it every kind of way you can do it, and and that's that's why. I try to preach to kids all the time, be a scorer, not just a three-point shooter. Find multiple ways to score, whether it's an offensive rebound put back or drive the basket off the window. Don't just be one side and try to be a three-point shooter. Tyree Appleby. And a drive, good defense there by Hunter Christ. Here's Bobby Ward. They want Appleby off a pick, he'll have to come out and take the handoff. The shot clock winds down to 10. Appleby with pressure. Seven. He'll drive. Got the shot off, but couldn't get it to go. And Hairston over the back of the rebounder just got in there. That's Will Chevalier. Talked about him just a few moments ago. Another good looking freshman, six foot eight from Kimberly, Wisconsin. He draws the foul. Hairston with his second personal. That's team foul number six. And Green Bay can play for the last shot here with 11.9 on the game clock. Shot clock dark. They're up by three. And it's a smart substitution by Coach Darner to get Chevalier in the game right there because you've got the lead. 
And look at it, he, he does something positive with his minutes. There's right Akerson. away. Four seconds. Three. In the lane, the runner at the buzzer, he got it. How about that for Hankerson, who wound the clock down and got the last shot of the half to go. He has seven, and Green Bay will take a 41-36 lead to the locker room here at the half in Cleveland. And Khalil Small has been the story. He has 18 first half points to lead all scorers as the Green Bay Phoenix lead it by five in the 76th all-time meeting between Cleveland State and Green Bay here tonight. We're back with the halftime report in just moments. Stay here. Back here in Cleveland, the Green Bay Phoenix lead the Cleveland State Vikings at the half, 41 to 36. I'm Al Pulowski along with Pat Vianchik. You know, the Green Bay Phoenix features seven freshmen on their roster, and they have eight underclassmen among the top ten scorers, so they're quite young, which means Coach Link Darner relies heavily on two players who have the most experience. J.P. Cadorn has the story of Sandy Cohen and Khalil Small. Link Darner is in his third year of running the Green Bay Phoenix men's basketball team, and running might be the key word. His fast-paced, up-tempo, relentless pursuit style of basketball is well known by now. It all takes time. You know, I don't think we're anywhere near as good as what we could be, which is, you know, which is a good thing. But I mean, I think it takes time to understand, and we have so many new guys. It's, it's different if you add six or seven guys, but you got six guys returning. We've added you know, 10 new guys. So the system is running a little slower this year. After losing eight of their top nine scores from a year ago, it's to be expected. But they just added one player who doesn't mind picking up the pace. I love Coach Darner. I love his system. I love his assistance. And of course, you know, I love being around my teammates. I think we've got a good group of guys here. Sandy Cohen is a junior for the Phoenix who just took the court last month for the first time as a member of the Green Bay basketball program. He transferred from Marquette last season and had to sit out a year. But to be playing ball just 25 miles away from where he grew up in Seymour, it was worth the wait. Uh, I love it. I'm really close to my family. My dad lives in Howard and my mom lives right by the stadium. So it's nice to be around family. Cohen scored 300 points in his two plus years at Marquette but found playing time wasn't what he wanted it to be. A move here to Green Bay would allow him to play more, play faster, and hopefully play even better. He's a 6'6 wing player who flashes athleticism at will. Which is good when adapting to the type of basketball Coach Darner likes to play. It's going to bring us a different dimension to our team. Um, going to bring us some more speed, some more athleticism. Another guy that can handle the ball and pass the ball. And those are areas that we've struggled in. Um, we probably are averaging more turnovers than any team I've ever coached before. And I think he'll help with that. Um, plus, I hopefully he'll help us on the glass and be able to get us out and run and get us some easy baskets, which we've struggled with getting. After playing at a powerhouse program like Marquette, Cohen can bring some new things to the court in Green Bay. He can cover a lot of ground. Um, it's just with his athletic ability, and that's one thing that we're we're lacking desperately. Um, scoring in transition. Um, we're, we're, we're getting him in and getting him ready to go, and, and we'll just have to wait and see how he does once we get going. Cohen has a heck of a leader ahead of him if he needs any advice on what life as a Phoenix is like. Khalil Small has played in 104 games for Green Bay and started 76 of them. He's the only senior on the team who has started any games before this season. I could see his, uh, his role step up from last year. He's more intense, you know. He plays a more of a leadership role this year with a lot of freshmen on the team, and, you know, he's a big part of our team. Yeah, I've definitely came a long way, um, like, as a player uh, on the court and seeing everything that I have to do, not only on the court but off the court, you know, to keep getting better, uh, like, as a man and as a player. So I've definitely seen myself grow. That's why I want to help the young guys, you know, uh, like teach them as much as I've learned and help them so their transition goal is easier and they can be the best as, you know, they want to be. Those two are the players Coach Darner can lean on the most as this season gets into the heart of conference play. They form the heart of this Phoenix team. For Spectrum Sports, I'm J.P. Kadoran. Thanks, J.P. The Phoenix lead by five at the break. We'll be back in Cleveland just after this. Back here at the Wolstein Center in Cleveland, the Green Bay Phoenix, a leader of the Cleveland State Vikings here at the half, 41-36 to 36 on Spectrum Sports, along with Pat Vianchik, I'm Al Pulowski, John Staley directing for us here tonight in the Rock and Roll City. Let's take a look at our Horizon League scoreboard for you. A couple of other games, IUPUI 
in Indianapolis tonight. Leads Illinois Chicago 41 to 34. Youngstown State hosting Milwaukee. That game coming up in 10 minutes. Green Bay will play Youngstown State coming up this Saturday as uh, the Green Bay Phoenix going to wind up having five games in 10 days. Pretty wow, impressive, isn't it? It's an NBA schedule right there. It definitely is. So that's what's happening in the Horizon League tonight here in Cleveland. The Phoenix haven't trailed. They lead it by five at the halftime break. We have more to come on the halftime report in just moments. Stay here. To trail tonight as we welcome you back to the halftime report here on Spectrum Sports. Green Bay 41, Cleveland State 36 at the Wolstein Center in the 76th all-time meeting between these two schools. Let's look at the leading scorers tonight. For Cleveland State, it's Kenny Carpenter with a dozen. Well, he's shown a lot of ways he can score going back door catching a backdoor pass, pulling up for the mid-range off the dribble and also off the catch, showing that the old-school mid-range game is still alive in Cleveland. And look at this. He can attack, too. I mean, he has been the leader. He's a senior. He has to keep bringing this. But this guy, Khalil Small, has been unbelievable. He's Euro got 18 step. points, Pat. <laughs> Your host step to the left hand, drive with a little teardrop in traffic, and then the up and under off the backboard flexing for the camera and then he shows he's got a little power game inside goes to scoop up the board and the step the jab step step back again showing that being a scorer is the way to be a player not just being a three-point shooter Green Bay has shot the ball exceptionally well as the stats show here in the first half they've also led the battle of the boards 18 to 13 they got the last five caroms of the first half also turnover wise though they've committed 11 turnovers the Vikings really haven't made them pay. They have 11 points off it, but six and six the other way. Well, it's interesting because the Vikings came out and turned the ball over right away, but they settled down quite a bit and sort of flipped the script and forced more turnovers. I, I would say Coach Felton's got to feel good about where he's at right now because they started out so slowly. If they could just do a little bit better job on small, they might be able to pull this one out. Phoenix by five, second half action straight ahead on Spectrum Sports. The Phoenix five-point leaders as we get set to begin the second half here tonight in Cleveland. And the uh, defense for Cleveland State, if you look at their field goal percentage, Pat, in the last four games, that's trending the same way tonight. Right now, Green Bay shooting 55% from the field. Well, two of those teams are in the top ten in NCAA basketball. And the two that are a little bit more in their, their level, they've done a better job of but that's still not acceptable. The Vikings have to find a way to grind it out in games, especially at home. Green Bay will start the second half with Cone, Pipes, Small, Hankerson, and Jesperson. Cleveland State will come with Wright, Carpenter, Appleby, Word, and Hairston. Phoenix up by five. They've never trailed tonight. It's been tied for a minute 33. It was scoreless until the 18-27 mark of the first half. Green Bay has led it for the next 18-27. Here's Small. He's been hot. He misses his first shot here of the second half. If you're wondering, Khalil Small's all-time career high is 29 points. Did that earlier this year against Rockford. He's been in double figures every game this year. Here's Anthony Wright. Making Cohen into the post. Right. Well, he somehow got to the basket, just couldn't get the finish there. Good defense by Sandy Cohen. Now Hankerson on the run out for Pipes in rhythm right there. You can see that one coming as P.J. Pipes caught it and dropped it. That is his first field goal today. The freshman comes in averaging eight. He has three. Green Bay up by eight. Well, you said it, Al. He caught him in rhythm on that pass. Teams that play well together, they find their guy in rhythm. It makes it easier to knock those shots down. Carpenter will inbound here. As we talked about earlier, this is the fourth Horizon League game for Green Bay. Just the second for CSU as Appleby couldn't get the three to fall and a foul on the rebound on Bobby Word for going over the back of Khalil Small. For Bobby Word, that is his first personal foul. First of the second half against either side. Vikings need to be careful here. Down eight. Thought Appleby rushed that shot a little bit. Had a good look, but down eight, you got to get a great look. There's Small on the wing. Against Carpenter. Cohn. And a whistle and an offensive foul on Cohn. Shoved nice. off. Nice job by Kenny Carpenter there to keep his feet moving. 
watch it here. You can be moving and still take the charge. I'm sorry, that was Anthony Wright. You see the push off, you see the arm extend. Anthony Wright's a tremendous athlete. Third foul on Cohn. He's the only player with three fouls for either side today. First foul of the second half against Green Bay. Phoenix by eight, Vikings with the ball. This is Wright. That will be a wide open look. We'll get it, Carpenter, the rebound. Good second effort by Kenny there. Carpenter in trouble. Here's Hairston. Right from the corner. Word the tap. We'll try again. Boy, Bobby Word would not give up. And he got the basket to go give him seven. He fought off two guys to get that rebound. That's man size effort right there. Cohen, the quick trigger on the three, it's in and out. There's Small, he got the rebound. Hankerson down the lane. On the rim, no, a whistle drew the foul though. On Tyree Appleby. Yep. Wasn't quite set there on the block. As a secondary defender, so again, when Cone beat the first, when uh, I'm sorry, Hankerson beat the first defender, the secondary defender has to be set. If you're the primary defender on the ball, you can be moving as Anthony Wright was in the last possession if there's contact to the torso. As a secondary defender, you have to be set. Seven points for Hankerson tonight, three of four at the line, and he misses the first one here on the season. 82% from the charity strike. Hankerson and Green Bay as a team now five of eight from the line. Hankerson three for five. Cleveland State eight of ten at the stripe this evening. It's a real positive for the Vikings. Hankerson splits the pair. Seven point lead for Green Bay. Appleby quickly up the floor against Pipes. On the drive. He'll get the bucket. Here comes Cohen on the break. Vikings back though. Pipes, another open look from this left wing. That one he just missed. Right, tried to save it, could not do it. And it's Green Bay basketball. Well, two Vikings went after that rebound. Harrison and Wright. You, you know you're playing well when you're you're double teaming and triple teaming rebounds like that, but you have to squeeze it if you want to win games like this. 45-38, Green Bay by seven. Here's Pipes. Boy, Cohen was looking back door for that lob, just couldn't connect there with Pipes as they gave each other that, that ice there. The Vikings have switched up to a zone here. They're in a 1 2 2 zone. Jesperson. Look at the little turnaround one hander. Bobby Word, the Cleveland State board. Carpenter on the drive. That one handed shot off the window has been his trademark this year. Give him 14. Five point lead for the Phoenix. And Cleveland State didn't really see him use that much in previous years, so it shows a development. Good defense there. Jesperson with good hands, hands it off to Cohen. There's Small. Ankerson. Carpenter up to right. Vikings trying to run. Appleby couldn't haul it in. Hurston, though, runs it down in the corner. Needs some help. Now a reset for the Vikings, who are down by five. Word for three. Left that one short. Jesperson the board. 6 8 redshirt senior. Gets it out to Hankerson. Small is open. That's rare tonight, especially when Small has been open. Showing he's human. Fast pace right now. Both teams are winded. See how the offense slows down. It's a sign that there'll be some substitutions coming soon. Right, trying to power his way against Cohen. Forced it up. They get the bucket. Jesperson, another board for Green Bay. Small into the lane. Wide open pipes. Now both teams have struggled from the outside. Word on the break. He's going to wait for help. Now you said it, Pat. Both teams look a little winded here. They've been going up and down they today. Have. Been a lot of movement, a lot of fast pace. How about the field goal shooting this half? This is where you want it. You want to be patient. Appleby. Boy, how about that move? Spun it off the window. Tyree with nine. Hankerson for the triple. 
Green Bay now just two of 11 from the field in the second half. Cleveland State two for nine. Both teams putting players up at the table to substitute in. Now we've got a whistle and a foul on Pipes for holding Appleby. And the foul on Pipes will be his second. Second against Green Bay here in the second half, and we have a full timeout on the floor. There's another look at the Appleby spinner off the window. 45-42, Green Bay in the lead. Green Bay Phoenix have a trail tonight. They haven't scored, though, in the last three minutes. However, they lead it by three points with just over 15 minutes to go, along with Pat Fianchik, Al Pulowski. Let's go back to our keys to the game, Pat. How's it going? Well, Green Bay is not, lately, they're not hitting. Last game, one for 17. Tonight, only five for 18. The Vikings on the rebounding, they're not getting it either. So that's why we have a close game. If one of these teams ends up surfacing, if the Phoenix start hitting their threes and the Vikings start pounding the boards, I think you'll see a win if, if they can meet each one of those goals. So substitutions during the timeout. Dontel Highsmith will inbound. He came in. Thomas Kenich, Ward, and Hairston on the floor for CSU. For Green Bay, it's Cohen, Small, Baines, Christ, and Jesperson. Three-point leaders are the Phoenix. Thomas for Kenich. Little show and go there. We've got a foul on the drive. It'll be the third of the second half against Green Bay. I think the hole is on Cohen. Yep, that's his fourth personal foul. The reigning Horizon League player of the week, Sandy Cohen. We talked about how good he's been for Green Bay tonight. Quiet. Four points, four boards. He'll have to go out here. Well, this might be the window of opportunity the Vikings need. Now you have to take advantage of that. Sometimes teams have a tendency to relax when they see that happen. You have to take full advantage. First time we've seen Travion Bell today. Another solid freshman. Six foot six from Joliet, Illinois. So he's into the lineup. They would stay down by three with the ball. Thomas against Christ with a Hairston pick. To the basket, got blocked from behind, but it came right to Hairston. Nice block by Bell. But Hairston cleaned it up. And here's Bell the other way with the reverse layup with a left hand. Travion Bell gets his first two, and he hasn't been on the floor 30 seconds. Once again, three-point lead for Green Bay. Steph Kenich not getting back on defense that time. On the drive, Kenich scored it and one coming. A little show and go there, and now he can tie it at the line if he's successful. The foul is on Baines. That is his first personal and team foul number four this half against Green Bay. Well, again, he started out this game by getting an offensive rebound, put back, and getting to the line. He's been more aggressive tonight. You know, they, his first game he hasn't started, and maybe it was a little bit of a wake-up call for him. Kenich with seven to look for eight. He's two of two at the line tonight, 75% from the stripe this year, and he ties the game. Third time tonight we've been tied. Cleveland State has never led. As Anthony Wright comes in for Steph Kenich, he'll sit down with eight points and a rebound. Well, and this is the teaching part of the game right now. Coach Felton is pulling him out because he didn't get back on defense in the previous possession. He did make up for it in a big way, but you have to play both ends. Here's Small. It's the game's leading scorer with 18 on the drive on Highsmith. Got to the rack, scored it, and one coming. Khalil Small continues his outstanding night. He has 20. He'll look for 21 at the line. He just is so strong. Good cross. Look how he gets his body into the defender to shed him off, and then he takes on the secondary defender and avoids the block. He's so creative, so strong. Look at how strong those shoulders are. Second foul on Word. Yep, third against Cleveland State. Numbers on Small tonight. As he approaches that double-double. Looking for 21 here. Couldn't get the free throw. Hairston, the Cleveland State rebound. Here's a mismatch the Vikings have right here. Cash Thomas is much quicker and should be able to take advantage of that ability to get to the hole. Smallest played 81 straight for Green Bay. He started 74 in a row now. Well, so you can see why. He, he's, he takes good shots, high percentage shots, and he finishes. Short shot clock for the Vikings. Word on the drive, trying to get to the rack. We got Green Bay. Phoenix players in the air, and he drew the foul. Now, pretty nice job by Bobby Ward with a short shot clock to get to the rack and get the foul. Well, he, he saw the gap, he took it, lift fake, and it's in, amongst all the tall trees, drew that foul. This is, again, a feature that we've seen out of Bobby Ward this year, 
that we have not seen in the past. He's also having his best year at the free throw line, 13 of 15 this year. And as I say that, he misses the first one. The broadcaster's jinx, Al. First foul on, or rather, third foul on Christ, fifth against Green Bay. Christ will check out, pipes back in, Airston out, Kenich back in, just like that, Pat. Well, and I like what the, I like what Coach Felton did here. He, he took Kenich out, talked to him about getting back on defense, taught him a little bit, and got him right back in the game. So his confidence is still there. Word splits the pair. He is eight. Cleveland stayed within one. Green Bay with the basketball. The far sideline. That's Baines, and he's hounded by Word, who got him. The foul on Bobby's his third, fourth foul against Cleveland State here in this second half. Cleveland State has slowly crept back into this game, and you know, a good stop here. They may be able to take the lead for the first time. They started out real slow tonight. Now Word's got to check out with those three fouls, so he'll sit down with eight points, nine rebounds tonight for Bobby Word. That's a game high. Well, and, and you know what's what's great is they bring in the leading scorer on their team to replace him. Small. Boy, he's heating up once again. 24 for Small. Check it. 23 for Small. Excellent execution by the Phoenix. They ran that play to start the half. This time Small converted it. He's six away from tying his career high of 29. He set against Rockford earlier this year. Meanwhile, Anthony right on the drive for Carpenter. He'll try a three-pointer. That is long. Highsmith keeps it alive. Kenich has it. We've got a whistle and a jump ball. That'll belong to the Vikings on the alternate possession. Well, Kenich again showing that he's bringing more to his game tonight than just attempting threes. Gets in there. Nice job by uh, Hightower High to keep that ball alive and Kenish to clean it up. Get the Vikings an extra possession. They would stay down by four. Kenish, quick trigger in the corner. He was contested by Bell. It's no good. Here's Pipes. Now Baines, first small. Carpenter is marker. Pipes. Oh, the good show and go there. He reversed to finish it. Pipes with five. Green Bay's up by six as Highsmith trying to run it out the other way. Blocked by Jesperson, but right to Anthony Wright, who cleans it up and scores. He has four. Up and down we go again. Four-point lead for the Phoenix here tonight. The Wolstein Center in Cleveland. It's been a fun game. That's what the Vikings need to do is rebound. Phoenix need to hit threes. Vikings with numbers again. Carpenter going to the basket. He scores the left-handed layup. Kenny with 16 to lead Cleveland State. Again, it's a two-point game. Vikings showing some life there. Creating some easy offense defensively. There's Jesperson. Wanted small. Good defense by Wright to knock it away, but out of bounds. And a hold call on Wright as well. Yeah, he hooked him on the back. Yeah, he hooked him on the backside here. First foul on right against Cleveland State, team foul number five, and we'll take a break here on Spectrum Sports with the 11.53 to go. Our score, Green Bay 54, Cleveland State 52. 54-52, Green Bay leads Cleveland State with 11.53 to go in the contest, along with Pat Vianchik. I'm Al Pulowski. Welcome back to our coverage of the Horizon League here on Spectrum Sports today. Green Bay has never trailed. And they have the basketball here out of bounds. Off the foul. And they'll break the huddle with Pipes, Small, Baines, Bell, and Jesperson. Cleveland State with Thomas Wright, Highsmith, Carpenter, and Kenneth. Check out those numbers, Pat. Not looking good for Cleveland State, according to those. Well, it's not so surprising when you consider that Green Bay has upperclassmen at the guards. The Vikings are still young, because usually the guards are the ones that make the decisions at the end of games and bring the, bring the victory home. Cleveland State has switched to a matchup zone here. Pierce. This is Pipes. Five on the shot clock. Hankerson going to pull the trigger. Right there. Big bucket for Hankerson with the shot clock winding down. He's just the second Green Bay Phoenix in double figures. He has 11. And Green Bay's up by five once again. Every time the Vikings have gotten close, the Phoenix have answered. Thomas with a Kenich pick. It's the ball in the hands of Cleveland State's leading scorer tonight, Kenny Carpenter. Eight to shoot. Thomas, an open Highsmith for three. Gonna get it, Bell the rebound for Green Bay. Highsmith has just not been able to knock those down this year. 
There's Hankerson with that big three-pointer just a moment ago. Bell, got fouled by Wright, who reached in as Bell tried to drive. And the foul on Anthony Wright is his second team foul number six this half against Cleveland State. With 10.51 to go, Bobby Word will return. Green Bay leaders by five and the basketball. Highsmith checks out, so does Wright. Highsmith scoreless, Wright has four. Well, and that, that stat you just quoted, six fouls against the Vikings, two of the Green Bay, that'll loom large because uh, Green Bay shooting 76% from the free throw line. You don't want to put them there. There's Small with the short clock now. Hankerson. Small for another triple. Why not? Khalil Small has been on fire all night. His third three-pointer, he has 26. Well, remember that cracks staff stat we just posted a few minutes ago about Green Bay needing to hit threes. They've hit last two. How about Thomas with a nice drive, but he drew the foul. But he couldn't get the reverse to go, so he'll go to the line and shoot two. I believe Small was the guilty party. Khalil Small, also an excellent defender. He was all Horizon League defensive team last year. Here he is. Cash Open Thomas out. showing some oh, wait, who they excellent get, body They're control. gonna give that to Jesperson, Pat. Okay, his third foul on Jesperson. Came over to help, got the body into the offensive player. Thomas with two free throws, sinks the first one. Cash Thomas with four points tonight. He's now two of three at the line. He's played 18 minutes off the bench, also has a couple of assists. One more for the sophomore from Montreal. It's a six-point game once again. Be near the midway point of the second half. There's Small. He's got Kenich on him this time. Ankerson ran over Kenich, and he's called for the block. Kenich with his first personal. That's team foul number seven. So it's a one and one opportunity here for Green Bay. Well, again, the secondary defender, which is Steph Kenich, you have to be set to take that charge. He was outside the arc, but he wasn't set. The primary defender can take a charge and still be moving, but not the secondary defender. So Hankerson, who's taken six, rather make it eight free throws tonight. No, check it. It is six. Sometimes my eyes fail. It's four of six at the free throw line. He's got a one and one here. Good game tonight for Ankerson, 11 points. This is the front end, though, as Carpenter gets the rebound. He'll come left to right for Cleveland State. Six-point leaders are the Phoenix. Carpenter from the free throw line on the jumper. He couldn't get it to go. It was wide left. Bell, another rebound. He's been pretty good for Green Bay off the bench here in the second half. Travion Bell didn't play at all in the first half. Jesperson. An open look for Bell, could drain the triple. Carpenter the rebound up to Thomas. Word is open from the corner. Got it, Bobby Word the triple. 11 for Word. They would stay down by three. Boy, it's been up and down, back and forth, a game of streaks. Green Bay was just on a six point run. Now Cleveland State's answered with a five point run. The Phoenix are in the bonus, so. They continue to penetrate and draw fouls. That could hurt the Vikings. Pipes with a step back. Will convert Kenich now to Word. Kenich, the open look at the three. Bottom of the cover tied. Cleveland State on an eight point run. 60 all. We're tied for the fourth time tonight. Timeout, Green Bay. And we'll take a timeout as well with 8.53 to go in regulation. Green Bay has never trailed tonight, but the Vikings won't go away. Well, Steph Kenich dropping the big bomb from downtown Belgrade. 60 all. We're back in moments on Spectrum Sports. It's milestone night here tonight in Cleveland in the first half. Khalil Small went over 1,000 points. Now in the second half for Cleveland State, Bobby Word has reached the 1,000 points for his career plateau. He did it with this three-pointer coming up. Nice kid, great smile. I'm told he moved up to Cleveland because of the nice weather from te you know, left Absolutely. Texas. Absolutely, in days with... like today. <laughs> it's in the single digits. He, he wanted to bring some heat up to Cleveland, <laughs> and he's doing it tonight. He's heating it up. He's been heating it up the last two games. Remind our viewers, 26 at Michigan State and 24 against Youngstown State. He has the look. Look at the look in the eyes, too. There's he, your numbers on Bobby Word. Yep, transfer from Oral Roberts in his fifth year. 
or even at 60. Hankerson with the ball for the Phoenix. Good ball game tonight in Cleveland. Here's Small. Great find down low for Pipes, but Hairston there to help out and block it. There's Bell with the offensive putback. Couldn't finish. Loose ball to Word. Cleveland State will look for their first lead of the night now. Appleby for the tough triple. Kenich the rebound, but he pushed off. That foul on Steph Kenich is his second. That's team foul number eight against Cleveland State. Well, you know, what a what a great effort by the Vikings here. Jamarcus Harrison with the block to stand with it. Kenich taps it out. It wasn't a fan of the shot that Tyree took in the corner here. I thought, uh, with, you know, the Vikings pulling, pulling even at 60. Might have been time to bring it out and run something there, but... They do give him a lot of freedom here, and over the years, that will pay off. Travion Bell, 12 of 18 from the line this year as a one and one. He's played six minutes tonight, all here in the second half. He has two points and four rebounds. This will be his first free throw. Pipes, Hankerson, Christ now, and Jesperson on the floor with him for CSU. Highsmith, Appleby as he sinks the first one. Kenich, Word, and Hairston. What's the Phoenix up by one, and now the bonus free throw. For Travion Bell, the 6'6 freshman from Joliet. Green Bay by two once again. Now they're their 76% shooting team from the line. You don't want to put them there. And uh, Steph Kenich, of course, you know, he picked up that foul, crashing in for the rebounds. That's one you'll live with if you're Coach Bell. Bell checks out. Baines back in for him. Well, he gave Link Darner six good minutes here in the second half. Four points, four boards. This is Appleby with a pick from Kenich. Doesn't use it. Got grabbed. So he went to the <laughs> oh rack my. thinking about the dunk. He can surprise some people. You look at him and think, no, he couldn't dunk. But we've seen him do it multiple times this year. He's quite an athlete. He has cat-like quickness. You know, uh, I, we mentioned it, and I know people will, will laugh when I say this. He reminds me of Kyrie Light. He's got the ability to get to the basket five to ten times a game. He can get to the basket and score or draw a foul. And that's what Kyrie gave the Cavs, of course, giving it now for, Celt for the Celtics. But this kid has that type of quickness to the hole and body control to finish that is rare. Well, Tyree with an opportunity now for his 11th point. The bonus free throw is good. We're tied again. Five times we've been tied tonight. Appleby with 11. Four Vikings in double figures. That last foul on Pipes was his third. Here's Hankerson. Finds a wide open Pipes. Doesn't take the three. Show and go instead. Found a man underneath. We've got a whistle though and a blocking foul on the pass against Appleby. And that is the second foul on Appleby. Team foul number nine against Cleveland State. So it'll be another one and one opportunity for Pipes when we come back. There'll be a full timeout on the floor with exactly eight minutes to play here in Cleveland. Once again, we're tied. The Phoenix and the Vikings even at 62 here tonight in Horizon League action. We're back. Stay with us. 62 here tonight in Cleveland. Green Bay and the Cleveland State Vikings with eight minutes to go in regulation. The Vikings have never led tonight. Green Bay has led it for 29 minutes and 31 seconds. It's been tied for 229. This Green Bay roster, it's exciting if you're a Phoenix fan because it's so young yet so competitive in the Horizon League. Well, they're the youngest team in the Horizon League, yet they stand 2-1 and one right now. And that's a testament to Coach Darner in the halftime piece spoke to that fitting those guys in and finding a way to work them in along with those seniors, Cohen and... Uh... There's a look at Cleveland State's roster. They have six seniors. Yeah, they, well, the Vikings, they're, they're seniors. Uh, just have to find a way to finish a game, close a game out. B.J. Pipes misses the front end of the one and one Vikings with the ball and an opportunity again to take their first lead of the night. Will be with it in his hands. He finds Evan Claiborne. He's wide open. He jams it home. How about Claiborne with the turn and dunk? Nobody had him. Vikings, their first lead tonight. <laughs> They're two for two on that play. I'd run that one to death. There's Small. Good defense by Carpenter on the challenge. Kenich the rebound. Under control there. And the run out. He'll get it to Appleby. Vikings by two with 7.25 to go. Well, this one has all the makings of going right down to the wire here tonight. There's Word. Word for the triple. Playboard, an offensive rebound, and a reset. 
And there's the key we talked about with that graphic. The Vikings have been rebounding well in these last few minutes. And the Phoenix have not been hitting their threes, so we'll see what happens. Carpenter. Kenich. Tough catch against the knee. In the lane, that's a tough one. We'll get it to go. Excellent defense by Baines. Solid rebound by Small as Green Bay. Down by two with it. Coach Felton small. didn't like that shot. Kenneth will be coming out after that one. Jesperson for the lead for Green Bay. The triple. And Green Bay's up by one. <laughs> and that's what happens. Bad decision on one end leads to something good at the other end. And that's why coaches like Coach Felton know you have to take good shots every time down the floor. Six for Jesperson. Look at Appleby, the great move, and the foul. Count the basket. One coming for Tyree. He has a Baker's dozen. He'll look for 14 at the line. Now, again, is this Tyree or Kyrie? That's the exact same move that Kyrie Irving makes on a nightly basis. Of course, he's not as tall as Kyrie, but he has the same quickness, same ability to change directions and be low and get into the defender and, and control his body to finish. That's P.J. Pipes' fourth personal foul. Appleby tonight. Seven of eight at the line now, eight of nine. He came into tonight shooting 62% on free throws. That percentage will go up after this evening. Good small. Good sign for the Vikings to answer that made three and take the lead right back. Now Pipes. So we approach the six minute mark. Small with a game high 26. Finds an open look for Baines for three. Look who got the offensive rebound. Khalil Small pulls down another one. Eight boards tonight to go with 26 points. Now on the drive. Wanted to pass out. And he drew the foul on the pass out. And Small will go to the line and shoot two as that was the 10th team foul against Cleveland State. And this is the thing about Small is makes him such a great player. You know, he's been scoring the basketball, but he recognized that he had the mismatch out there on the wing. And he took advantage of it. And he didn't just force the shot up. He drew the contact, drew the foul, and most likely will cash in here. A little Small tonight. One of two at the line. 26 points, eight rebounds, three assists. Give him 27, two away from his career high of 29. Claiborne's out, that last foul was on him. Kevin in 10 minutes tonight, He's been out for over a month. But a nice return, four points, four rebounds for Claiborne. And a block. And he, uh, you know, he just was overmatched that time. Small recognized, he had the mismatch, took him to the hole, just like he should have. Small missed the second one, so he stays at 27. The Green Bay lead, which was for most of tonight, now shows them behind on the scoreboard. 67-66, Vikings. Here's Appleby, the step back triple try. He was in rhythm and couldn't get it. Small, another rebound after a good box out of Bobby Word. Here comes Hankerson, Phoenix can take the lead. But a steal by Thomas on the entry pass. Here's Carpenter. The Vikings need to really work the offense and get a good shot right here. Don't rush anything. You have a lead. Let's build down. They want to build down a little bit more. Too much dribbling, not enough movement and screening right now. Thomas on the drive. Left hand. A layup is good. And Cleveland State has their largest lead of the night up three. Give the coaching staff credit for making that substitution right there. Pipes for the tie. Right there. Bottom of the cup for Pipes, the freshman. How about that shot? 4.52 to go, timeout Cleveland State. We're even again at 69 as P.J. Pipes has eight points. He stepped back and just drilled that one, and Green Bay has an answer. Well, and, you know, again, I, it's going to be interesting to see how things work for Cleveland State because they just take that lead. They feel like they're taking control of the game. Pipes answers. I watched the Vikings walk off the floor. They sort of look dejected. And, you know, that's where you need that leadership. Somebody has to step up and say, hey, let's go. We're playing well. We're going to keep it going. And I didn't see that right there. They need that leadership. On the other end, when you see a freshman like Pipes having the courage to just knock that down, wow, we have two freshman guards that are terrific. Well, take a look at Cleveland State's close losses. They've had four games here that have come down to the final possession. And Cleveland State has lost all four of those games by a grand total of nine points. And against East Carolina down there, they were up 69-62 with less than two minutes to go. 
ECU scored the last 10 points. But these other games, Central Connecticut, Niagara, they had the ball at the end, just couldn't get that last basket. Now it comes down to decision making, being able to get stops and rebounds, and making your free throws down the stretch. So let's see what happens. Tie game here. There's the turnovers. How about Cleveland State not committing a turnover yet this half? Harrison will get the shooter's touch. Jesperson the rebound. Now the Phoenix can go back in front here. They've done this with Sandy Cohen on the bench. And Khalil Small's been on the floor, and he's been hot tonight with 27. Pipes. They got Hairston on the matchup. Small against Word here. He wants Pipes. Now we'll just throw it to him. Eight to shoot. Baines. Gonna have to pull the trigger. Offensive rebound for Jesperson and a foul on Cash Thomas. Big offensive board for Jesperson. And he'll go to the free throw line and shoot too. Cash Thomas picking up his first personal foul. Well, there's not much Cash Thomas could have done there. Jesperson did a great job of posting Thomas up. He had the mismatch, and he kept that mismatch going by keeping his body on him to seal him and create space to get that rebound. There's nothing Thomas could have done other than push. Jesperson hasn't taken a lot of free throws this year, but he's good when he does. 10 of 13 from the line. He has six points tonight, and now seven as he gets nothing but net on that first free throw attempt. So seven points, five boards in 26 minutes for David Jesperson. From Merrill, Wisconsin, transferred from Pepperdine. It's the second one, and the Phoenix once again lead this one by two with just over four minutes to go as Dante Heisman will check right back out. Tyree Apple will be back in for Cleveland State. Decision making, taking good shots, and playing stout defense down the stretch is what will do it for whatever team wants to win this game. Ash Thomas and Tyree Appleby, both point guards, both on the floor. Dennis Felton told me before today's game he wanted to do this as much as possible. And Bobby Word shows you why. Coming off that pick, and one of those two point guards finds him. Vikings back on top. <laughs> Boy, what a game here tonight in Cleveland. Bobby Word has certainly found his confidence. Jesperson for another triple. Left that one short, followed it up, got to the rack and scored. Jesperson with a great effort. Puts Green Bay back up by one. Appleby on the five, he scores, but it won't count. He was fouled on the drive. That is the ninth foul against Green Bay, so Appleby will have a one and one when we come back. Timeout on the floor. Phoenix by one, Bobby Word the triple. Close one tonight in Cleveland. Phoenix up by a point here in Cleveland tonight. Tyree Appleby will be at the free throw line when we resume. Why? Because Tyree has been able to penetrate and get to the rack tonight and draw fouls. The kid is so quick, so deceptive, uses both hands to score, knows how to get into those tight spaces and use his body and the window. Always, always be using glass. Look at that crossover, the step back crossover. <laughs> Again. Maybe it's, maybe it's Kyrie Light. Maybe we should, you know, I mean. You, you were on that comparison. I, 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 I really think this kid's going to be having a banner hanging out of this gym one day. He's going to be a, 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 an all-conference player. He's going to maybe set some scoring records. He has that much ability. Super fun to watch. One and one here. Misses the front end. A big miss. It's the Phoenix now have the ball with a one-point lead with under three and a half to go. Sandy Cohen is back on the floor. He was on the bench for the last 10 plus minutes with those four personal fouls. Here's Small. 27 points tonight for Small as he works on Thomas. Now Hankers to Cohen. Baines. Stripped by Wright. Great defense. Bobby Worth the steal. Here's Wright. Green Bay by one, three minutes to go. And that's a good decision. When I talk about decision making down the stretch, Anthony Wright could have forced that shot. He decided to pull it out and run it. That's senior leadership right there. Appleby to Word, now Wright. As Cleveland State works the perimeter. Thomas stopped the drive to find Word for the three. Halfway down and out, but a foul on Cohen on the rebound. As he fouled Anthony Wright, and Sandy Cohen has just fouled out of the game with four points, four rebounds, and three assists in 19 minutes. Anthony Wright had a hand on that, and now look at him at the other end. He's over here getting his offensive rebound. Draws the foul. And now, again, down the stretch, you have to hit your throw. And Anthony's a good free throw shooter. Tenth foul against Green Bay, so it's two free throws here for Anthony Wright. Tonight, Wright with four points, five boards. This will be his first free throw. He's at 79% from the line this year. 
Anthony Wright, the senior, the junior college transfer from Harrisburg, PA, 23 of 29 from the line this season. It's a one-point lead for the Phoenix. These are all big at the line late with 2.41 to go in a game that has been close throughout. We're tied again. There's a look at Sandy Cohn, the reigning Horizon League player of the week. And boy, what an asset he has been the last five games for Green Bay. Just never really got going tonight. Well, he got in foul trouble. Right now, I know he's wondering why he's not in. You can see, you know, he's only got, he does have four fouls, but as an upperclassman, you might expect him to be on the floor right now. There's another steal by Cleveland State. Three on three, but Thomas will slow it down with the one point lead. Bobby Word, we almost faked a long triple. He's hit him from out there before. But Good decision by Bobby Word to pull it back in. Get it under control. Draw, get a good shot or draw a foul in this situation. Thomas with the bump, got it off, no good, but he's going to the line, exactly what you said. Draw a foul late, get to that free throw line. At the end of games, you have to control every possession. It doesn't mean, that doesn't mean the control won't come at the beginning of the possession, but you have to control the possession and you have to be able to make something positive. And at the end of the game, you either draw a foul or get a really good shot off. And right now the Vikings are drawing fouls. Second foul on Hankerson. Cash Thomas to the free throw line. Where tonight he's three for four. He has seven points off the bench and he gets the first one. Thomas on the year came into tonight shooting 68% from the strike. Averages five points per game. Now he has eight. Vikings by two with 2.16 to go. Now Cleveland State matches their largest lead of three. Hankerson will bring it ahead. No doubt a look to get the ball into the arms of Khalil Small. There he is. He's had a big night tonight. On the drive, got it off to Jesperson. Around right. Open look in the corner. Hankerson for the tie. We're even again at 76. Hankerson has quietly had a good supporting night of small. 14 for Hankerson. He came in averaging nine. Thomas now for word. A little small, an excellent defender on him. Control the possession. Get a good shot. Appleby. Finds right. Passed up the open shot and now a short shot clock. Carpenter trying to get to the rack. He did somehow. There it is. 18 for Carpenter. A minute 26 to go in an excellent basketball game here tonight in downtown Cleveland. Here's Small. Hankerson. Crist for the lead. Wide left, but an offensive rebound by Baines. And he'll go to the line and shoot two. Boy, a big rebound there for Baines. Well, that's the weakness of the Vikings. We talked about that being their big key. They have to control the boards to win, especially down the stretch. He gets better position. The shot goes up. He's done that well tonight consistently. First half, I think he had four rebounds. Third foul on Kenny Carpenter. So Baines at the free throw line. Tonight, he has three points and seven rebounds. His first free throw goes awry on the season. Baines came into today just 52% from the line. He's the one free throw shooter for Green Bay that has struggled. Most all the rest are 70% or better. Second one is in and out. Two big misses there for Baines. Cleveland stayed with the ball on a two point lead. Use the shot clock, be patient, continue to attack and either draw fouls or take a high percentage shot. There's word. Don't need a three in this situation. Appleby going to the rack. Got hammered. Great block by Hankerson. Appleby tries wow. again. He found Carpenter, scores in one coming. Well, never give up, they say, and Tyree Appleby, who got blocked, got the ball back, went down low, found Carpenter for the finish. He's got 20, look for 21 at the line. Attacks once, nope, nothing Good there. Block, Gets it yeah. back, goes right back at you. You gotta love the aggressors and the smarts, the decision making to finish the playoff. So a four-point lead for Cleveland State. It's their largest. Kenny Carpenter will take his first free throw tonight. He's only taken nine free throws on the year. He's five for nine at the line. For the three-point play. Couldn't convert. Would have been a two-possession game anyway. That's what it is right here. Jesperson for small. 
thinking about the long three. Now he'll drive on Carpenter, got to the rack and scored! He'll go to the line and try for the three-point play. A career-high tying 29 tonight for Khalil Small, and he can get the Phoenix to within one. Well, he, he did the, the smart thing, got his body in the defender, and Kenny Carpenter reached at the very end. If he just stayed straight up, he might have been able to buy that shot, but Small is so crafty himself. And that's what seniors do. Seniors know how to win games because they've been in these situations before. Bell out, Baines back in, Small with one free throw. Tonight he's two of four at the line. He has a game high and a career high, tying 29. He's never scored 30 in a game, but he can do it right here if he hits this free throw. What a night tonight for Khalil Small. It's a one-point lead for the Vikings. Green Bay will get the ball back. Nine-second differential shot in game clock. Cleveland State's been here before. Four games have come down to the last possession. They've lost all four. This is where the freshman has to get under control. I want to get a timeout right here for Coach Felton. There it is. They've got three left. 11 on the shot clock. Now they have two. 20.6 seconds on the game clock. 80 to 79. Cleveland State. The one thing with Cleveland State this year, they don't necessarily have the guy, in quotes, to get the ball too late. Dennis Felton has talked about trying to find that guy who can score in the last possession. As you look at these close losses, once again, Monday against Youngstown State, Cleveland State's last game, they tied it with 10 seconds left on a three-pointer by Bobby Ward. Cameron Morse, in my opinion, the best offensive player in the Horizon League. He came down and hit the three at the buzzer. Yeah, a senior, and, that, and that's, you know, right now, you know, when I, when I played at Cleveland State, we had Mouse McFadden. We knew in any situation where we needed to get a good shot or a foul, we were going to go to Mouse McFadden. Right now, if you're Coach Felton, you have to be looking to Kenny Carpenter or Bobby Ward. They've been the best consistently scoring offensive players. Of course, Tyree Appleby has had a tremendous game, but you want to go with your senior leadership. They'll, they'll make that extra little effort to finish the playoff. Now, Khalil Small has had a career night with 30 tonight. His team will get one more chance regardless of what happens here. These last 11 seconds on the shot clock. Here's Carpenter for Appleby. He'll drive. The freshman go to the rack. Got blocked. Jesperson's got it. Green Bay can win it. 12 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. They have a timeout left. Here's Small. Five seconds. The senior. Couldn't get it off. Hankerson, two seconds for the win. Partially blocked. The game's over. Cleveland State has hung on here tonight at the Wolstein to win it. 80 to 79 in a fabulous college basketball game here tonight on the North Coast. Well, the Vikings did what they had to do down the stretch. They controlled possessions. They drew fouls. They made free throws. They found guys that knew how to score in tight situations, and they played great defense there at the end. Kenny Carpenter did an excellent job of getting his hand up on that three-point shooter without fouling. And, and for can't Cleveland ask for State, anything more. They committed five turnovers in the first five minutes, eight turnovers in the first half, no turnovers in the second half. And Bobby Word also, I want to mention, played terrific defense on Small in that possession. Small thought he had him once. He tried to go back at him. He took everything away from him and really forced a tough pass out for a difficult shot. Cleveland State has their first Horizon League win in the Dennis Felton era with the 80 to 79 victory tonight against Green Bay. We're back to wrap this one up in moments. Keep it here with Spectrum Sports. That last possession. Well, there he is, head coach Dennis Felton, with some congratulations from the band tonight on his first Horizon League win as the head coach for Cleveland State as the Vikings hold on to defeat the Phoenix tonight by a final of 80 to 79. We welcome you back courtside here at the Wolstein Center along with Pat Bianchik. I'm Al Pulowski. We're joined by the coach, Dennis Felton. And coach, uh, boy, what a win tonight. How does it feel to pull this one out against a pretty good Green Bay team and against a Khalil Small who had a career-high 30 points? Yeah, uh, it's very gratifying, Al. We... Uh you know, we've been working really hard. Um, we did, uh, we had many, many possessions, including down the stretch where we executed offensively very well to get great shots. Some we made, some we didn't. And then um, what's the most gratifying part about it is the defensive stand we made at the end. Uh, uh, you know, and especially with the ball in 
what's his name, number three? Yeah, small. Um, yeah. yeah uh, Khalil he's, small. Uh, there's nothing small about that guy. <laughs> no. I'll tell you. No. He's got. He's he's a big boy, and he's got a big. He's got big game, but um, played very aggressive, disciplined, great defense uh, to get the stop to seal the win. Coach, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, Coach. The last few games, we begin to see you use different combinations. You have Cash Thomas and Tyree Appleby out there, two point guards. Uh, you, you start with a different lineup tonight. Are you getting, as you take over the program for the first year, you, you're starting to get a feel for these guys and what situation you can play them in to bring the success out? Yeah, I am getting a feel, uh, but uh, to be honest with you, uh, uh, still most of the minutes, you know, end up getting decided by the players. Uh, Mock is playing more because he's playing better. Uh, Cash is playing more even if I have to put him on the floor with Tyree right. because he's playing better. Um, and then there's certainly uh, there's matchups uh, that you know we always kind of plan out before the game. Uh, it was great to have Evan back oh, yeah. uh, for a few minutes uh, today. And Dr. Duncanstein tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know we, we ran we ran some stuff for him to get him some easy looks, and and I'm glad he delivered. Um, uh, so and it, like Evan, it worked out pretty good because it's his first game back in right. over a month. Uh, he was a little nervous about you know, going out there at all, but I told him I'd, I'd only play him, you know, just a little bit. And and, uh, and this team, you know, they, they had one guy in, on their team that when he was in there, we felt like it was a good defensive matchup yes. uh, for Evan. And uh, they wouldn't put that guy in again in the second half. So yeah. <laughs> I, I, I forced Evan in there in the second half, and uh, we got a, got another yeah. good bucket out of it. But, but we also, you know, the, his man hit a three because – Yep. He was guarding a guy that's just, you know, it's, it's a challenge for him to guard somebody on the perimeter that way. But, Coach, uh, a lot of good stuff. Let's talk about that last defensive stand, and we'll take a look at it here, too. You talked about how proud you were of the way your team played here in these final Yeah, seconds. what you just saw is Bobby showed great discipline, first in retreating, so the big strong guard couldn't get into his space. And then on the step back, he stayed down. He didn't go for the fake because if he would have, you know, uh, Small. He, he would, yeah, Small would have made him foul him, and he's an 80, like an 86% free throw shooter. And then uh, Kenny stayed really tight and really, really challenged that shot well, actually blocked it. I could see it on the kids' faces tonight from Cleveland State. Almost from the very beginning, even when they got down, you felt like they really wanted to find a way to win this game tonight. Early, slow start, but they kept chipping away, and they kept – talk about – you know, just how the, the growth that way to, to learn yeah. how to stay in games and, and then slowly chip away at leads and then you yeah. know finish it out. Well, what I'll go in the locker room and talk to them about right now is one of the uh, one of our late timeouts. Uh, we talked about it. It's determination. I mean, yeah. <laughs> guys, this is where you got to absolutely get determined to win this thing. And it's it's, it's determined to get a stop and a rebound. Yeah. That's it. Uh, you know, we. Um, We've been playing uh, at a much higher level than we could have ever, you know, dreamed of offensively. You know, we're scoring, you know, again, tonight we score 80 points. Uh, and so our talk has been about we've got to stop people. We've got to, you know, we're, we're, we're letting people score right. about 80 points on us here lately in this, in this stretch. And so, uh, it, you know, obviously we still have work to do, but it, it is, uh, it, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, it tastes, it's got to taste real well, good for our yeah. players to get those critical stops down the stretch to, to win this one. Coach, congratulations Thanks, on Al. your first Horizon yeah. League win. Yep. Congratulations. There's head coach, guys. Dennis Felton, yep, joining us here on Spectrum Sports. Let's take a look at the final stats for today's game, as this one was pretty even. Green Bay shot a little bit better from the field, especially in the first half. They were at 55% better from behind the arc. A little small, a career high, 30 points tonight. But Cleveland State got a big boost from their bench, and they were very strong at driving to the basket. Well, when you drive to the basket, you get to the line. And there's a difference in the game. Cleveland State sunk 19 free throws. They were plus seven at the line. They really flipped the script. That was not the case in the first half. So Cleveland State gets the win over Green Bay. With the win, the Vikings now 4-11 on the season. They're 1-1 one one in the Horizon League. Green Bay with the loss falls to a uh, record of 7-10, 2-2 in the HL. That'll wrap it up for us here tonight. What a great crew we had. Really enjoyed working with everybody. John Staley directed, Tom Boschenek produced, Jim Baltus on audio, and all the great crew here tonight for Spectrum Sports. For my partner, Pat Vianchik, I'm Al Pulowski. Thanks for watching Cleveland State and Green Bay tonight. Again, the final, Cleveland State 80, Green Bay 79. We'll talk again soon. Have a good one.